It's me, Hung Yi, from iloveinterracialove.com. Are these fears your fears? Being his fetish, his forbidden love, or meeting his fairly odd parents? Now this is a question that I often get from people in interracial relationships in that first falling in love with each other phase and it is a truly important, important question. The real question here is, is this the right relationship for you? So if you are in, confused about your inner feelings, your doubts, your intuition, what should you follow? Here are two visualization strategies that you can follow that will answer this question for you. Here it comes, number one. Mirror, mirror on the wall. We are all complex creatures with complex emotions. What we feel, our entire being shows. So if you're truly paying attention to what you say, how you say it, and what you look like when you're saying something, the truth will come out through the, your choice of words, your tone, and your body language. Does this make sense to you? Look in the mirror, do the self-check, and see, as you think about this question, what is your face revealing? Do you see any of the seven basic facial expressions of anger, fear, sadness, disgust, contempt, or happiness? Watch your body language. Does your head drop? Do your shoulders draw in? Are you leaning forward? Are you talking with your hands? Are you smiling? What you see is what you think. And this is what you will see when you think about your relationship. Is there a hidden reason that makes you fear that you are just a fetish? That he is just a, enamored of this forbidden fruit idea? Or that he really doesn't want you to meet his parents? Our body language is a true and natural expression of our innermost feelings. Number two, pull in your team. Get your good friends together and ask them to listen closely to you as you talk through your feelings. Have them pay really close attention to your eyes, to your posture, your words, and your body as you speak. By watching you as you speak, they will see immediately what your true fears and feelings are about being in this interracial relationship. Now here's a bonus strategy for you. Talk to him and remain calm. When you are in a challenging, emotionally charged conversation, she who remains calm wins. Studies have shown that when your body is in a deep relaxation mode, your ability to communicate more empathically improves. It is so worth taking the time to slow down, speak, and listen. That will immediately stimulate trust and empathy in his brain. So just as you watched yourself in the mirror and your friends watched you, now you watch him. Pay close attention to all of those visual clues. Does his eyes light up when he talks to you? Does he get fidgety when you mention meeting his parents? If the message you get from your mirror, your friends, and your guy confirm these fears and walk away. If the fears are communicated with body language that is excited, forward, and energetic, that is a good kind of fear and a good energy to have in your relationship. So do these visualization exercises and you will know if you are the object of a fetish, a forbidden love, or the love that he will bring home to his family. Are these fears your fears? Being his fetish, his forbidden love, or meeting his fairly odd parents? Now, that is a very, very emotional question. Let's hear from you. Let's hear your story in the comments. We say, if you're really liking this I love, share it, like it, and stay in the mix. Put your name and email in the box below. And sign up for all these things that I have waiting just for you at iloveinteracialove.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next.